Hi YouTube, I'm back at it again, making these videos in the dark, honey. I've been getting a lot of other things done, that's why. So I figure I'll just start. My most train of thought comes in the, in the nighttime, they, you know. Someone said geniuses think good in the nighttime. Like I said, my name is Eve the Weave. Sometimes I don't get no sleep because my brain be going 80 miles per hour. Sometimes on a thousand, but I came across this 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 interview with Malaya's mother, and um, I feel some type of fucking way, and y'all know when I feel some type of way, I come tell y'all about it. Now. She was talking about how the little girl, like, you know, My Little Pony and all that stuff. And how she was a great big sister and everything. But then she started to get to the mother. He asked her about her mother. And here's what she said. Why he gotta touch her? Oh, she crying now. She got real tears, y'all. Really? Why is that? Because I Bullshit. I'm going to stop it right there. I call bullshit, y'all. I call bullshit because now your mother don't want to be in the media, bitch. Who do the fuck you think you talking to? Your mother, the one that just did the last interview in the media, and you stood in the background and act like she wasn't even on motherfucking camera for like, and then, let me just tell you how you know she lying. Because before the mother even started speaking that day, outside, in front of the media, she asked them, is the cam is this is this microphone on? Can I speak into this microphone? A person that don't want to speak to the media is not gonna walk up to the media and then ask them, is the microphone on? Can I speak to this microphone? So I'm starting to think the mother is feeling some type of motherfucking ways. Okay? Either is a guilty way or she feel like her daughter is to blame and she don't want to fucking talk to her. Because her, we all know your mother talks to the media, baby. So don't sit up there and say now, oh, she don't want to be in the spotlight. She don't want to talk to the media. Then you go to say, you ain't speak to your mother. Like I said, that sounds like your mother don't want to speak to you because she feel like it's your fault. But anywho, let's keep watching. What that? I see. But are you? There's something going on between you two where you're not you're not talking, which seems surprising given what you're going through. You want to talk to your mom? I want to talk to. It's too much for her. Let's, let's go back <clears throat> to the beginning of this story. Um, you left town to go to your dad's memorial service. It's been reported you had an argument with Darian Vince before you left town. What was that about? Why is he getting unease? Why he feeling me he gotta touch her all the time? Look, why he gotta speak? They were having some relationship issues because she discovered that there was issues of infidelity and that he had been entertaining others in a very inappropriate manner when you're in a committed relationship with someone else. And so 
She didn't confront him about that until she was already gone at the airport. So at the airport, did you call him and talk to him about this? Or he, he took you to the airport? No, my friend took me to the airport. And did you call him? No, I texted him. What did you say? Those text messages have been given to authorities. Why does he so feel the need to even be sitting in this now, interview while? Because all of that's going to come out. I'm not understanding why he got to be there. But all of that he steps in in every hard, extra hard, difficult question. I don't like it. She had discovered him sending to someone else. Um, that's going to come up with all that was provided after I got involved to investigators that they needed to see those things. Because to me, I believe it spoke to motive, in my opinion, based on what we have learned and what we discovered and what we saw. Those pictures had the potential to expose a hidden secret of his about his sexuality. And once she confronted him with that while being at the airport, you know, I, I believe that that speaks to the motive behind this entire tragedy of Malia being missing. Let me tell y'all something. I don't like the fact that he needs to speak up every time a difficult question comes into play. I don't like it. You are an activist. I don't know what else you do, but it's making me twinge on the inside. Make me want to look up his motherfucking background. And I might have to do that so I can do my next video on him. Because I don't like it. I don't like the fact that he got to tap her every time. I can understand you consoling her. And where is this big family at? Why are he the only one doing something? Why are he the only one consoling her, y'all? Let's just think about that. Why is he the only one consoling her? He's tapping her. He's just doing too much for me. If you ask me, he's doing too much. I don't like the. I don't like that. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. It makes it look funny. It makes it. It makes. If it's making me feel funny, I know it look funny to everybody else as I'm as we are all watching this. It don't make no sense for him. If they have such a big family, why he there? If they have all this family, why he there? You don't got to be there, brother. Because y'all have a big family, remember? Is this bullshit. I call bullshit. Brittany, let me ask you, when you confronted him by text, my thing is, because I don't know what's going on, you know, it seems like every time I go to do something, in the nighttime is a problem, but that's the only time I get to really think clearly. But anyway, why is it that you confront him by text when you on? I think she was on her way to the airport. Her friend came and picked her up. Why would you confront him by text? Why you may confront him face to face? Like I, I don't understand. If he is sending pictures to somebody that you believe is a man, right? Why the fuck would you leave your child in there with him? I'm not understanding. Maybe this is why the mother's not talking to him. Maybe the mother see through the bullshit too. Because I'm not really understanding what the problem is. Something is definitely going on tonight. But I'm not going to let me stop. I'm not going to let this stop my my, 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 my video neither. Because I'm going to keep talking about it. Because I know so much. Is this it, To me... It's a bunch of bullshit. And to me, the activist guy, that guy that's sitting next to her, is covering up a lot. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about him. I just am not feeling the activist guy at all. I'm not feeling him at all. So, I, I, I ain't got time for it.
It just it sounds like bullshit to me. If you ask me, but don't ask. But let's see if I can get the video back up and running because I don't know what's going on with the Wi-Fi and the YouTube. Is is this every time I get ready to do something, my battery go dead, the Wi-Fi go dead, everything dead, 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 dead for it, everything dead. How did he respond? He responded in text messages also. Was but he, he kept calling and she wouldn't answer. I see. So was he angry? Upset. Upset, not. Yeah. Look. Upset. Look. Not angry but upset that she would not respond that she wouldn't why is he not letting her talk when it comes to this man that she loves so much and been with for so many years why he keep interrupting that conversation when it comes to this man talking about her man I don't like it y'all can say what y'all want I, I just don't like it he always has to touch her to let her know, oh no, don't talk too much. Because it's not even a consoling thing no more. Because she's not even crying like that. He's touching her to let her know, I got this. I'm going to answer this question. I don't want you to slip the fuck up. We trying to throw everything on him. So I'm going to need you not to fuck up the story. So let me tap you every time. It's like a strategy thing. Let me tap you when I want you to shut the fuck up. I don't like it. And I don't like that the Wi-Fi is doing this to me tonight. I don't like a lot of things. But we're going to not let this aggravate me, though. We not. Because in my mind, whatever we had going on had nothing to do with the children. And your mind, bitch. See what I'm saying? This Wi-Fi connection shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I'm ready to curse out everything moving. Because you that's how you know when you're talking facts, though. Because everything try to interrupt you when the facts is getting spoken into the lights. And maybe I'm speaking too motherfucking much facts. I don't know. But I know my name is Eve. And, um... I buy the apple and start all this shit the fuck over. I'm just saying, read your Bible. I, I'm just saying, YouTube. Every time she talk about the man, he tap her. Every time. And he's been doing that, and I noticed it's like a control thing. Oh, I'm trying to help you. Let me control shit. Oh, we was fighting. I ain't think that had nothing to do with the kids. Bitch, bye. He not her daddy. Why? Why? Why he? Why? Why she there? He not her daddy. Why you think it don't got nothing to do with her? People do fucked up shit, and this is what I'm talking about. I don't know YouTube, but it seems a little funny to me. That's all I'm saying. If nobody else don't see it, maybe I'm I'm not the only one that's crazy. Story carrying about kidnapping. He was attacked. He and one of the other children were left alone. He goes to the hospital the next day. The story, quite frankly, sounded so far. A lot of people did not believe it. Did you believe it? I wanted to believe it. Why? Look, now why are you not tapping it now? I mean, I would rather hear that somebody took my child than to know that somebody that I had a home with could have possibly did something. And I think it's, I think it cheapens the truth to even call it a story. What we all were told was nothing more than a concocted lie 
to cover up the real circumstances of the disappearance of Malia. So I don't think that we should give him the benefit of the doubt or even the dignity to call what he said a story. It's a lie. When you got back, he explains what happened. What else did he tell you? When I saw him, when he con- when, when you got home, when I got home that yes. Sunday, yes, he never really said anything to me. He just kept saying, "I'm sorry." He said he was sorry. I'm sorry. Did he I have- tried to protect her. That's all he told me. He didn't really tell me much. Same things that I heard her going around this. He didn't tell me anything. So, did you have suspicions about? Did you have a bad feeling? It was always in the back of my mind, yes. What was in the back of your mind? That something could have possibly happened. And that maybe he was involved? Possibly. Did you notice anything different about the apartment? No. Nothing seemed out of place? Everything everything was cleaned. Everything was put away. But that's normal. That's how we clean. You know, and... um, So I'm trying to tell y'all something. I yeah. didn't realize that the basket was gone until I, I heard about it, until I spoke with the detectives. And when I went home and I noticed the basket was gone, and I don't know, I just, I don't know. I know that my mother had done laundry on the first, and he picked it up. Maybe it was there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know. You came back May third, I believe. So, how much longer was Darian there? Because at one, at some point, the police couldn't find him. Was he there for another two days? Another three days? Do you remember? And this is how I know it was about to hit real. My mouth was about to go crazy. Because anytime I guess the internet be feeling my vibe, yo. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, stop the video. This bitch is about to go off. I'm going to still go off, internet. Because I still call bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Ah, uh, internet. You don't know me. This always happens, though. I don't know why, but when I start talking about shit that seem a little bit too real, I don't know what it is. My battery died. All types of shit that start happening. You be like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand that. My my question is, at some point, police said they they tried to find him. So... This video is messing point, up a lot. The apartment. Was it after you'd been home for two or three days? When <coughs> they first released him on that Sunday? I'm sorry. Before I, he was even arrested. Before he was, okay, on the yeah. third. No, he was supposed to be picking me up on the third. Right. And he never showed up. I waited for him for two hours. Who picked you up at the airport? My mother. And what did she tell you? Did she give you a reason why he wasn't there? No, but she told me that if he were to make it there, then just to lie with him. I see. But he never made it. But he never made it. Did you go to your apartment that night? I sure did. And was he there? No. The car wasn't there. Nobody was answering the door, and the light was still on in the uh, dining area. So when did you see him? I see him Sunday. Okay, so that was the next day. Friday was, I mean, the third was Friday. Okay. Yeah, and then we filed the missing persons report that Saturday. Okay. He didn't come into the hospital until later on that night. That night. And the police didn't release him until that Sunday. Did you go to the hospital to see him? 
we got a phone call. I received a phone call. His brother received a phone call, and my mom received a phone call saying that they were there. And so we all went there, and there were a lot of police officers. Uh huh. Did you have a chance to talk to him then? No, they wouldn't let us. They wouldn't let you talk to him. No. <clears throat> did he ever come back to the apartment after that? No. Where did he go? He went on Sunday. He came back to my mother's house. To your mother's house? Yes. So why did he not come back to the apartment with you? I didn't go to the apartment. Oh. Okay. So I went you... back to with my mother. I didn't. <clears throat> so you were both staying with your mom? Yeah. At a point. Okay. A poor just a poor just left out here. She did why would you stand with your mother all of a sudden? Nah, five. Y'all not understanding what the fuck just happened? I'm going to stop this shit right now. So she went to the apartment, saw the light was on the apartment. She's bamming on the door, went around to the patio door, bamming on that door, thinking maybe they had car problems or something and they may be in there. Right. Nobody answers. Nobody answers. So she goes back with her mom. Did you not have a key? No, she no, had the key. they had a spare key in the house and he had the key on the car key. I see. Bullshit. Bullshit. And this is why I stopped again because the internet know I'm about to say some shit. Why is it that you went back to your mother's house with him from the hospital and stayed there? Why you didn't go back to your house? Why he wicks you? I'm not understanding Jesus. Take the will. Because she sounds like bullshit. And every time she don't know something, he steps the fuck in and starts talking to clear up the whole fucking story. Like he was there. Suspicious of Darian. That maybe he had something to do with Malia's disappearance. This is some bullshit, y'all. Reason why I'm going to call bullshit on it. Hiding, like, just wouldn't come home? Just, you know, when um, my suspicion grew Monday after he had been released. Mm -hmm. And he did not want to talk. Um, his family wouldn't let me talk to him. For whatever reason. So then you were suspicious. Yeah. This is a man you loved. This is a man you had a child with. Did you think he was ever capable of doing any harm to any of your children? Why is the hesitation? No. Why the hesitation? You knew what he was, he was capable of. That's not what I think. To think what this man has done in this case is to see this man as a monster. And she didn't see anything living with him that suggested he was capable of something of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. Even Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to pause it. I can plug it up because I don't want it to die. But we can keep watching this dumb shit. But the fucking guy sitting next to her, the activist dude. This is how you know it's bullshit. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when somebody asks me about somebody that I live with and I love. To me, you shouldn't have to think that hard about that fucking question. It was nothing wrong with the internet then. Don't blame my internet for that bullshit. She is fucking lying. And she's trying to flip it on the fucking guy. And that's, this is what you, okay, he may have done the killing or whatever, allegedly. Yeah, I don't want my page flagged because, you know, people do stupid shit. But. I'm not going to sit up there 
You're not going to sit up here and fucking play me. I'm looking at this video. The guy sitting next to her, the activist guy, he looked like if she don't answer these questions, he looked like he's going to turn into the hawk or some shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, trying to put y'all on the game, honey. He looked like he's frustrated sitting next to her. Like, I am so fucking aggravated sitting next to your ass. If you don't answer these fucking questions the right motherfucking way, your ass going down. That's how it looks to me. That's just how it looks. That's just how I feel. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. It's bullshit. Because at the end of the day, why, like I said, why you got to take so long to answer a question about somebody that you love? You love him so much. I want y'all to see this guy's face, though. When he keep, like, he got to keep crossing his hands because if you see his demeanor, to me, that's like crossing your arms a little bit closed off and you're in defense. But yet you're trying to keep your motherfucking cool. And that shit ain't working for him. The signs is readable on the fucking shit. But let's get back to this 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 fucking shit. If I get upset, to me it's this bullshit YouTube. I'm just calling it what what I just call it how I see it. And see the interview guy, the interviewer. He's like. So this has been a traumatic, shocking experience for her about a lot of this. You have to understand a lot of these things that have been coming out now. When I sat with Brittany and told her that the things we had learned and discovered, mm -hmm. the things that my organizational brothers who were out there speaking to tons of people, I was speaking to uh, the stepdad's family, and the things that we had extracted and pulled. When I bring, when I brought things to her you know she was it's like shocked well, how do you know that she was like yeah that's true well how did you find out that and i explained to her we have been diligently working on the case so what did darian vince's family tell you about him what secrets i have to be careful because i know that this is going to be in a trial at some day at some point but what i got from them was their sole concern was the protection of him, not the whereabouts of Malia. Their sole concerns was not to get him to help us find Malia, but it was protecting him. And I said to them, I said, listen, what kind of man is kidnapped? A child that he loves, his stepchild, taken from him. He won't return phone calls. He's participated in no searches, won't speak to searches. Hiding from police officers still indicates he's guilty of something and that the story is a lie. And so their concern was to protect their loved one. The first priority was not where is Malia at all. Brittany, have you ever been afraid of Darian Bitt? No. Has he ever harmed you in any way? No. Verbally abusive? No. Physically abusive? No. She knew all of those real quick. No, 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 no. The police have talked about the evidence in the apartment. Bleach. That's all bullshit. Blood in the apartment. Linked to Malia. Everything seems to point. Are, have you grasped that reality? Still processing. Still processing. It's hard for me to think about. It. 
So, <clears throat> I, I want to ask you something, because you, you have brought this up in interviews, and this is a touchy subject. Um, you have said in interviews that there was abuse in the home, and Brittany was afraid to reveal it because she was afraid. You have put that out there. Let me say this to you. My number one obligation is not to the stepfather, is not to Brittany. My number one obligation is to that beautiful child right there, Malia. Justice for her is the priority. Where she is is the priority. Everybody else are adults. They have to stand on their own two feet and answer for whatever they've done. But that child is the priority. And let me be straight with you. This man has to answer. He has to answer for what happened before she came up missing. He has to answer for that. Because there's a lot more here. This mother had no idea that this child was leaving the house with him in the morning. He's saying, I'm taking the child to daycare. But only later to learn from the investigation from both HPD and us that he was bringing the child back home sometimes with him. Okay. What is your purpose to tell this mother why she's going to class or she's going to work? Malia's at daycare. Yeah, I took her to school. But come to find out she's at home with you. Why, why would you lie and say she's at daycare but have a house with you? The very day that she went to the airport, picked up by her friend, she leaves out the house believing Malia is at the daycare and didn't even know yet snuck her back in. Guys, let me tell y'all something. Malia is only what? Four or five years old? My granddaughter is five years old. She's in daycare. If they miss too many days out of school and it looks weird, they're going to call your home. Or when you see the parent, they're going to ask the parent. Now, I don't know if the daycare knew that that was her stepfather, but they would have asked the mother, why is Aaliyah going like sporadic days like that? Because he was only doing it sometimes. You trying to tell me that the daycare people failed you too and didn't tell you that your child was missing days and all that? That sounds like bullshit, y'all. It sounds like a bunch of bullshit. They are setting this man up and they trying to make, they trying to take the guilt off of her and on to him. All of it. All of it. They want him to take the whole bit. They don't want her to serve no time at all. You understand? They trying to make her, they trying to clean her up a little bit because the media been fucking her up. They been fucking her up. And I mean dragging her. You understand what I'm saying? They been dragging her a lot. So now all of a sudden, this, this right here, this interview, here we go. Damage control. Because you already said he's hiding from this and he was hiding from that and he didn't want to talk to the cops and I, 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 he wouldn't talk to you. And now your mother don't want to talk to the media no more all of a sudden. So this is damage control. But I call bullshit on that. You not knowing that she was home with him. In the house. As she walking out the door. What you doing, brother? What are you doing to this child? Are you saying there was abuse? Hell yeah, I'm saying there's abuse. And I'm like, and there's a whole lot. And more. you're saying, but let me say this. And you're saying that let me say Brittany this. was not aware. Let me say this. I want to be clear. She was not aware of a lot that was going on. You were not aware. But one thing 
I am going to do. Because right now the priority is still finding Malia. Mm. I'm going to say a lot more. When he me. asked her, the interview yeah, guy asked her, the facts of it. Mm. you wasn't well, aware. She never answered. He answered for her. We can all understand that. Brittany, you've been talking to police, I understand. How often do you talk to them? Every other day. Every other Whenever day. they have an update. Uh, have they given you information, new information? No. Any new details? No, I've asked. Are they still questioning you about Darian Vince? They're, they'll ask me questions about information, uh, like his card information or accounts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Credit card? Okay. So you talk to police every other day. You're still talking to them? Of course. Have you talked to Darian Vince since he was arrested? No. Has he tried to reach out to you? No. Do you plan to visit him? No. You're done? Yes. Darian was arrested, I believe, at his brother's house. Have you talked to his brother? Look. <sighs> Tap again. Next question. Next question. Have you talked to any of his family? We have spoken to the brother. Now, why, if it's the next question, why you go back to say you spoke to and the brother? When that's, and that's how he was really arrested. Now they're going to throw the brother underneath the bus. We have talked with the brother. And that's actually what helped play a role in getting him arrested. Can you say what was said? No, not right now. But I do believe, <clears throat> for a fact, they were helping him hide out. And I do believe. Let me tell y'all something. I do believe you're full of shit. This is a tough question, but I have to ask. You've been vilified in social media. You've been followed. You've been harassed. People think you are partly to blame for what happened. What do you say to those people? People are entitled to their own. I remember looking at situations. I'm just going to say this because people will see through bullshit. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. That was my indicator coming on telling me that shit is getting real hot. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to tell y'all I feel like she's full of shit. I feel like she's bogus. That's just how I feel. I feel like she's full of shit. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you speak to the brother. One minute he say he ain't speak to the brother. The next minute he's speaking to the brother. This shit is bullshit. But we're going to keep watching this shit. Because it's almost done anyway. I think it was better when I wasn't even showing the whole shit. I mean, I was just letting y'all listen to it. And that after this video, that's what I'm going to go back to doing. It was better that way for me. Plus, I don't want to get flagged for showing somebody Situation else's video. Being on the outside looking in. Doing exactly what they're doing to me. Doing exactly what they're doing to me. I know my truth. And I love my child. And can nobody take that from me. No matter how they feel. I'm not perfect and I'm not going to see. How much you want to bet you going to tap her again, y'all? <laughs> it's not funny that the, the little girl is missing or not. Like, I'm not laughing at that part. I'm laughing at the bullshit, though. Why she going to tap her again? Why is she saying all of this? She didn't act like I am and nobody is. I think I messed up. The family of Malia's father, the Davis family, said as... 
I was wondering when they was gonna get to the boys' fan with the the little girls. Um, you know what was going on in the home. Told you. you failed to protect your daughter. You can't answer that. No, that goes to the CPS. Look, look. We got a lot of questions on Facebook from viewers. People wanted to know why did you leave your kids with Darian Vince when you went to your father's memorial. I didn't pay for my ticket. So that's going to be her excuse. But being that you didn't pay for your ticket, why you didn't pay for your kid's ticket? <laughs> See, people full of shit. I don't know what's going on, but y'all might have to listen to the rest of the interview because this is really getting on my nerve. So, and it's making my phone hot as hell. But she says she didn't pay for her um her ticket, right? So, okay, if you didn't pay for your ticket, right? Why you couldn't pay for your kid's ticket? That's the whole thing. And that's what she's not getting. You could have paid for that ticket. You could have took your kids with you. You could have left your kids with your mother, like I said in the last video. But you didn't want to do that. I'm sorry, but I'm calling bullshit on everything. Every time it got to a difficult question about the man, the, the so-called boyfriend, the guy tapped her, the activist tapped her. It's like a little strategy that they got going. I don't like it. It, it makes me feel a little bit uneasy. I don't like it. I, and I'm not going to sit up here and act like I don't like it. This is what I do. I call out bullshit. If I see something and I feel something, that's just, what I, that's just how I feel. It sounds stupid. Let's see. It's going to let me play it. Look. My aunt doesn't live here. What about the Davis family? The Davis family. I mean, Peyton went. Malia could have went too. And why didn't she? They should have asked for her. Why? I know that they wanted to come get Peyton. Every time I got a problem, it seemed like that circle for the internet come up. It's like the God is to speak to me through the internet. They could have took, they didn't ask for her. Do y'all hear what the fuck she just said? They didn't ask for her. Why did they have to ask for her? Why would you wait for them to ask for her? If you need her to go with her father's side of the family, then go ahead. Look at their faces, though. Vince could. Look at their faces, though, as we wait for the internet to load up. This is why I love it. That's why I ain't stopping my video. Look at their faces as they are waiting for the guy to finish answering the question because they really want the interview to be what over with. Your child. No. And you also got to understand she's dealing with Death of a father. She's still. <laughs> now my phone died, y'all. Ain't that something? Well, let me tell y'all something. I don't like the activist guy. I don't like him. No, I don't. <laughs> Every time a question came up, it was a problem. Every time a difficult question came for her to answer, he never let her answer when it came to that guy. Oh, she's dealing with the death of her father. Okay, she's dealing with the death of her father, but it's funny how she let the other kid go to the father's side of the family. 
but and yet she didn't let the little girl go? Am I asking too many questions, you two? Is it me? Am I bugging? I, it, th this this interview was supposed to be damage control for her to answer all the questions that people wanted to know. I just find everything suspicious. This like how she brought up the bath, the, the 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 basket, the laundry basket. She said she didn't notice it missing because her mother did laundry. So, to me, that was damage control for the laundry basket. Because if the basket ever be found, yeah, I know my mother touched it. Because remember, she did laundry. You get well? Do you get where I'm going? Maybe I'm just.